Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be discussing cool trousers and trying to help you make the right decision when it comes to choosing a pair for yourself. Firstly, let's talk about fit. Cool offer three different fits when it comes to their trousers. The first is classic, which is a good all round fit. It's not too baggy, it's not too loose. Then we have full fit, which is slightly looser fitting. So it's got a really good range of movement. It's not restrictive uh, and fits a little bit baggier. And then we have tapered, which is a more tapered fit. It comes in a little bit closer at the sides and down the legs, and has a slightly more um, tight and form fitting look. This is also sometimes referred to as a lean fit. So without further ado, let's jump into our first pair of cool trousers. Beside me is the Rider Pant from Cool, which is a jean type trouser that's super rugged, super durable, and gives you the feel and look of a normal pair of jeans. This comes with five pockets. It's 98% cotton, 2% spandex. So a little bit of spandex giving you a little bit of stretch and also giving you some longevity, whereas a cotton is keeping it nice and durable. We see a really good selection of pockets. We've got our normal jean pockets, two on the front, a little coin pocket just here on the side, and then two pockets just here on the back, as well as another one just here on the leg, which is big enough for a wallet, a phone, a pocket knife or a multi-tool, um, really good. This comes in the full fit. So this is a slightly less tapered fit. So it's gonna give a good range of movement. It's not gonna be very restrictive. It's gonna allow a little bit of airflow through the trouser as well. A really good option for anyone looking for a casual trouser that's got a few extra pockets and it's nice and durable. Next up, we have the free rider, which is very, very simple because it is almost identical to the rider pant we just looked at. The only difference is this comes in a slightly different fit. This comes in their tapered fit. So it's still got a good amount of room around the hips and down into the lower thighs, but then tapers off towards the bottom of your leg, giving you a slightly slimmer look. Next up, we have the revolver pant, which is 68% cotton, 29% nylon, and 2% spandex. And that gives you a really lightweight, fast drying trouser, perfect for summer, spring, and autumn use. So this is a much lighter weight fabric compared to the previous trousers we looked at, but they're still very durable. Um, by drying quickly, it means you can use them in wet environments or damp environments, and you know that you're gonna have a dry pair of trousers the next day. You've got six pockets. You've got your two front ones just here, your two back ones, which you'd expect from an old pair of trousers or jeans. Then you've got one slip in pocket on this side, and then a similar pocket to what we saw on the rider pants on this side. Perfect for a phones, multi-tools, wallets, that kind of stuff. We also see fully articulated knees, so the knee has a natural bend in it to give you more range of movement when you've got these trousers on. This would be the perfect trouser for hikers and walkers who are looking for a lightweight, but durable and protective trouser that's gonna give you a little bit of weather resistance, but also gonna be fast drying for those damper environments. Next up, we have the Renegade pant, a really nice option from Cool. It uses a 95% nylon, 5% spandex finish, which they're calling Duralux. This is a really stretchy, but durable um, soft shell fabric. Um, perfect for walkers, hikers, climbers, or even travelers. We've got six pockets. We've got two on the front, two on the back, and then two on each side. One of which is a drop pocket, which is perfect for a mobile phone, um, or a pen knife or pocket knife. And then you've got a zip pocket as well on each side, just here which is big enough for a wallet and some keys, but probably not quite big enough for a modern smartphone. This comes in Cool's classic fit, so it's giving you a good amount of room throughout the trousers, so it's not gonna restrict your movement, it's gonna allow some good airflow, and because of the stretchy panels, it's gonna give you a really good range of movement. Not only does this soft shell fabric give you a little bit of water resistance, but it's also gonna give you some sun protection as well with a UPF 50 finish. We've just got pre-articulated knees to give you even more movement, freedom of movement, and we've also got a gusted crotch to give you another level of protection and durability. All in all, a really good all-round trouser for walkers, hikers, climbers, and travelers. Next to me is the resistor trouser, and we're going back to a more jean-like finish with a 59% cotton, 29% nylon, and 13% spandex finish. It gives you all the perks of what we saw in the rider and free rider, but with a bit more stretch and mobility while still remaining durable. So these have a level of water repellency, so they're gonna give you a bit of protection throughout the day if it's drizzly or rainy, but they're not fully waterproof. They're giving you a good amount of pockets. We've got a little coin pocket, two front pockets like we'd expect from a pair of jeans, two rear pockets, and then just like the free rider, we've got a little foam pocket on the side. You could use this for wallet multi-tool or a pocket knife. These are really giving you a nice stretchy finish and a good level of mobility. They come in the classic fit from Cool, so they're nicely um, fitted around the top and bottom. They don't give you too much fabric, but they're not as tapered as some of the other models we've looked at. Um, and they give you a really nice reinforced 3D finish. So all the knees, and gussets are reinforced and double stitched, and we're seeing a 3D articulated knee to give you a good range of movement. On top of all of that, they're also giving you a UPF 50 plus finish, so you're gonna get a good level of sun protection in these as well. Next to me is the Above the Law jean from Cool, and what they're doing here is doubling down on durability with a wax cotton finish, while also giving you a really good feature set. 
So these are back into the style of a jean type trouser. So a bit like the riders and the free riders we were looking at earlier, um, but with a few additional features. So first thing is they've got a lot of pockets. So we've got coin pocket, two front pockets, our two rear pockets as we'd expect, but then we've got a pocket on the inside which is concealed just here. We've got a big zip pocket just here, and then we've got the same on the other hand with another pocket, concealed pocket here. What we also have is two big vents. So just behind these pockets, which is slightly concealed behind a flap, is a big vent to allow some airflow into the trousers. So on warmer days, if you need, feel the need to wear your jeans, but you want a bit of ventilation, you can open this up and allow a bit of airflow through the trouser. We've also got these little clip points on the bottom of the trouser, which help you pull in the bottom of the leg and give you a slightly more tapered look, or if you're using some sort of footwear that requires you to have them tucked in a little bit, and this gives you a bit of freedom with that. They're a full fit, which means they've got lots and lots of room around them to allow for some airflow, but also to not restrict movement. These are a slightly stiffer um, jean because they're more rugged, so they're not gonna give as much, and they're also not gonna be quite so, um, so flexible for when you're moving around. So giving you that extra bit of room within the trouser means it's not gonna restrict your movement as much. If you're looking for a really durable sort of day-to-day -day trouser or one for work, then this is a really good option for you. Next up, we have the Trekker for women, a really nice lightweight trouser that's ideal for hiking and climbing, but could be used for traveling as well. Um, at the top, we've obviously got belt loops, so you can have a belt, but we've also got internal adjustment cords, so you can actually adjust the waist of this trouser without having to wear a belt. And then that's backed up with a popper and a fly zip as well. Two front pockets two rear pockets, and then just on the legs here, we've got two concealed pockets as well. Um, these are, I would say, big enough for keys and a wallet. You might get a modern smartphone in there, but it might be a bit of a squeeze. As you come down the trouser, we're met by sort of an inbuilt cinching option, which comes into the bottom of this, that hidden pocket. Uh, if you pull that tight, it just changes the style and the fit of the trouser ever so slightly around the leg and actually draws the side up to give you almost like a three quarter length finish. Um, which just gives you a few more options when you're wearing this trouser, especially if you're gonna be traveling with it, it gives you a few different options. Um, the overall fit is it's a little bit snugger around the hips, but then it opens up and is quite straight fitting across the legs. And then finally, we've got the free flex roll up, which I think is a really good option. It's very universal, it's very uh, practical. It does a lot of different things very well. So this would be perfect for climbers, hikers, um, hill walkers, uh, but also traveling as well. So we've got an internal adjustment cord here, which allows us to adjust the waistband. We've also got the option for an external belt. And then all of this is backed up with a button and a fly zip. In terms of pockets, we've got two on the front, two on the back, and one on each leg. The ones on the back and also on the leg are popper pockets, which means they're nice and secure. So especially when you're looking to go hiking or maybe traveling and you want a bit more security on your personal items, that's gonna give you a safer place to keep them. So come down the trouser, we have the option of either having it as a full length trouser, as you can see on this side. Um, so perfect for your hiking and hill walking. But then if you need this as a travel trouser and you want something a little bit different, you can actually roll those up and using an internal cord and popper system, you can make these into a three quarter length. So it just gives you a few different options with the single set of trousers, which for a travel trouser is absolutely perfect. It means you can have a few different looks from one trouser. Uh, in terms of the fit, we've got a sort of uh, slightly snugger fit around the hips and then it becomes a much straighter uh, and baggier fit around the bottom, just to give you a good freedom of movement. These trousers are nice and light and they're also very stretchy, so they're not gonna be restricting your movement at all, which is perfect for climbing, but also hiking as well. And if you're gonna be wearing these day, uh, trousers for multiple days at a time, then this is gonna be a very comfortable trouser. Cool offer a really extensive range of trousers, and it can be a little bit difficult to understand which one is best for you. I hope this video has helped you decide and given you a few of the key features from each trouser and what it could be used for and what conditions it's best for. If you'd like some further information, you can head to each product's information page on our website and there'll be a list of all the specs for each pair of trousers. If you have any additional questions, leave them down in the comment section below and we'll be more than happy to answer them there. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next week.